Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Green with your Pupil Path preview. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on how to work Pupil Path, how to register, where to get your registration codes, and all of these wonderful things. Uh, we are currently working to add all of your registration codes to the school website. They will be listed by the last six digits of your OSIS number, your student ID number. Um, there will be a full direction sheet on how to register and that's what this is right here there's a copy of the letter that will be attached to the website as well as a little a brief description of what the registration codes look like so um, there'll be three columns the first is your the last six digits of your student id or your osis number the second column the middle column will be your pupil path registration code and the Third or right column will be your student registration code. Um, it's very important to remember when registering that you will need, to, there are two Abraham Lincoln High Schools. You will need to register for the school that says 21K410. So in order to register, you'll need that code, your OSIS, your date of birth. Um, you will go to pupilpath.com. You'll see it says parents register or students register. If your parents are registering, make the parent register. If it's you registering, you click student register. When you click that link, it asks for your school. First thing you do, like I said, I mean, if you type in 21K410, it's Abraham Lincoln High School. Perfect. Student ID, this is your OSIS number. Date of birth, that's your date of birth. And registration code is that unique registration code that you took from the school website. And you click register. That will prompt you to create a password. You create your own private personal password, and it can be, uh, I believe you need a, a number and a symbol possibly. I, they keep changing their password requirements, but they will not let you create an account without your password. If you somehow forget, for some reason, forget your password, you just register as a new user, go back to the school website, get that registration code again, and register as a new user. You already have a Pupil Path account from your previous school, and now you want to see your Lincoln stuff, just add, uh, you have to register as a new user starting over the same way. And it's that registration code does not change. So it doesn't matter. Anytime you create a new account, you use the same registration code. So now that you've registered and you want to see what your classes are and what your schedule is, in order to do that, when you log in, and this, these are all the website views. Unfortunately, I can't pull up the app views because I don't have a Pupil Path account. So when you log into the Pupil Path website, you will get a, your dashboard view. These classes are all of the classes that you're registered for. Okay? Even if you're remote, if you're, if you're blended, remote, it doesn't matter. These are all of the classes you're registered for. For this particular student, you'll see it says program day, day A, which means that this student is in the A cohort and will come to school on the days assigned to the A cohort. And these are the classes that they will have. So now, how do I know which period these classes are? To do that, you would click up here on class schedule. And that will pull up, when you click on class schedule, it'll pull up your, the schedule of your classes. Okay. So this student has second period vet science class, fourth period geometry, fifth period English. These are the rooms there. These are the rooms that the student will be in. Now, it's going to default to show you the day of the week that is currently today. So today is Thursday, so it defaults for Thursday. This student is in the building on Thursday, so there's a schedule here. If today were Wednesday, the student has no schedule because that student would not be in the building. Remote classes will show up on the dashboard, but will not show up in your student schedule because they do not meet in school. For the students that are blended, if you click on schedule and then view schedule as a grid, it will show you your schedule for the week. So this student is going to be in on alternating Mondays, Tuesday, and Thursdays. So every Tuesday and every Thursday, this is their schedule. Wednesday is remote. That's why Wednesday is blank. In order to get the remote classes, you have to go to the Teams app in the, your New York City students net email address there you can access all of the information for all of your remote teams 
This is only going to show you the in-person classes. I'll show you one other thing before we uh, wrap up. You'll see here that it says marking period. This is once again we're back at your dashboard view on the on the on the website. You'll notice that it says marking period one under average. Once you start getting assignments and grades, this is where you will view your grade average for each class. It's also, if you want to see your assignments for your classes, you click on assignments, it'll show you the assignments for the classes. Your attendance is here, the school calendar is here, your progress is here. Everything is here on this website. There is I wish I could show you the app views, but like I said, I don't have access to the app. I hope this answers some of your questions. I know you guys will have a lot more, and I hope to put together more videos that will help you guys all with every question that you have. Um, have a great day.